Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 3, 5, 8 days over 2. In this episode, we have a lot to get done here, so let's go ahead and start by talking to Shio. Let me give you this before we take off. And if we talk to Shio and we get a panacea, I don't really use those too much, but they are kind of useful, I guess. We can also talk to Axel over here and get something else. You and her will make it work. Just keep it subtle, yeah? By the way, have you been filling the bonus gauge completely, Roxas? The organization rewards guys who do thorough work. Give it a try. Fill the gauge for days 51 to 57 and come see me. Syx may have something for you. Now, I do believe we've done that already, so let's go ahead and talk to Axel again. Oh, hey, you filled up the bonus gauge. That's great. Somebody's an eager beaver. I think Syx put together a special mission for you. Go ask him for the details. Now, I don't remember exactly which mission we get for doing that. I think it's like mission 25 or 27 or something like that. Yeah, I thought Syx might actually give us some info here, but unfortunately not. I think it might be the last mission on the list here. So mission 28, I guess, or 29. I guess that is going to be the mission that we get for doing that bonus gauge thing. But we're not going to do mission 29 right now. We're going to go ahead and do mission 24, I guess. It's kind of hard to actually see the bottom screen. But anyway, mission 24, we're going to be doing some more work here in Agrabah. So, our orders are to investigate a cave this time. Right. Axel and I found it the last time we were here. There's a hidden entrance in the city. Wow, how'd you stumble across that? By accident, mostly. We spotted somebody acting fishy, and Axel suggested we tail him. And that led you to the cave. Good call on Axel's part. So, you ready to go explore it? Yeah, the hidden door is down that way. Come on. And now step one is to turn to the right and grab the treasure chest that is for some reason always in this exact spot. I don't know if I've pointed that out before, but for some reason it seems like there is always a treasure chest right there in Agrabah. Now, speaking of, you know, doing the same things in Agrabah all the time, what I usually do or what I've done in the past is speed up the first part of Agrabah until I get to the cave and then do my work in the cave. But what we're actually going to do is not speed up this first part of Agrabah, because as soon as we come through here, I think we're going to get a cutscene with Abu, which is Aladdin's monkey, and we're going to have to save him. Uh-oh, we're not alone. Heartless. What do you want to do? Like we have any choice. Let's clear them out. Roger that. Now, just like I said, we've got to save a boob, but for some reason, the only obstacle that we really have to take out is a couple of these Scarlet Tangos, which are some of the first enemies we ever fought. You would think that maybe we could get some different enemies at this point in the game, but I guess not. Actually, I take that back. Once we get to, like, Halloween Town, we get to start seeing some different enemies, and actually, some of the bosses in Halloween Town are really difficult. Anyway, I don't know why I brought that up, but I guess it's just because there was nothing else to really talk about, because the Scarlet Tangos are already down. That monkey. I saw him here last time, too. Hey, Roxas, look! He must have dropped it. Where do you spice something like this? What do you think? Should we just leave it? It's up to you, Shion. We may not get a chance to return it, but if you don't pick it up, somebody else will. Hmm, then I guess I'll hold on to it. It might come in handy. Okay, let's head for the cave. Now, before we head for the cave, there are a couple of things here in the Agrabah gate area that we need to collect. So let me go ahead and get this stuff, and I'll meet you guys in the cave where we need to be.
I may have gotten a little overzealous there with the speed ups because there was only one treasure chest to collect, but there also was one of those Sora staticky moment things, which I'm not sure the exact meaning of those. Like, I think I might have pointed them out in a previous episode, but at this point in the game, Nomine, or at this point in the series, the timeline, Nomine is messing with Sora's memories, and maybe Roxas is starting to feel the effects of that as well. Anyway, I think I pointed this out as well in a couple episodes back. We need to go ahead and examine this thing on the wall right here. Hey, what do you make of this? There's a hole here. It's like something's meant to fit inside. Huh, it looks about the same size as the gem I found. No way, it clipped right into place! Guess it explains where the monkey found it. If it was here to begin with, it should probably stay here. Ready to dig a little deeper? We've combed this whole area. What's next? Let's head further into the cave. Okay. Now here's our first new breakthrough, I think. I don't think we've seen that before. It doesn't really mean too much. All it really does is fill in the mission gauge a little bit, but it's not like you can miss one of those and still complete the mission. Anyway, we're gonna have to dig a little deeper as I believe Shio said that. It could've been Roxas, I've already forgotten at this point. But there are a couple of charger chests, of course, and the ordeal badges and all that that I need to collect. And we also, you may have seen in that little cutscene thing that these little boxes popped up. Actually, they look like dice with one, two, and three on them. I have to go around and hit all of these, and actually I think we might get a cutscene where Shion tells us that we have to hit them, so when I get there I guess I will show you guys that. But in the meantime, I might as well go ahead and speed up the rest of this, and I'll meet you guys where we need to go. Alright, now here is our first of three of those little boxes we have to hit. Now, if I'm not mistaken, oh, I forgot that we have to get into a Heartless fight here. I'm not going to speed this up because I think there's only these two little Heartless right here. But if I'm not mistaken, Shion will tell us that we need to hit these, like I said just a few minutes ago. What is this thing? Hmm, when in doubt, give it a good smack. So yes, that is apparently the advice we're going to go with here doesn't really do anything, so I guess at this point we're just supposed to be left to our own devices, you know, like, what in the world did that do? Well, actually, I was gonna say they didn't really give us too much of a, a clearer path of what we're supposed to do, but then again, in that cutscene we saw before, we did see that there were three of those things, so you might be led to believe that we have to hit all three, and that is exactly what we have to do. Now, you have to hit them in the order, one, two, three, but the next one we're gonna come across is actually the third one. And you can't hit that one until you hit the second one. So that might be a source of confusion. If you've ever had to do this mission before, you might have come across that. Anyway, let me go ahead and once again speed this up. I'll hit the other two of these dice things, and I'll meet you guys back where we need to go. Of course, collecting the treasure chest and the badges along the way. Alright, I know I said I was going to speed this up, but I kind of want to see if Roxas and Shion say the same exact thing. So far, no. And Shion gives us the same exact advice. Anyway, what I really wanted to do was go ahead and show you guys this. If you examine this crack on the floor, Roxas, of course, will say the floor is cracked, and Shion will give us a, a reason why it might be like that. For some reason, it seems like there are a lot of these little points to examine. Like this one, I guess. I didn't know if that was like a figment of my imagination or not. Apparently, this is a hallway pass through earlier. I don't know why these are here. I don't think these really give you anything except for just a little bit of flavor text, I guess. They don't fill up any mission gauge in any mission, as far as I know. They could be only available in this one mission. I'm not even entirely sure, so I guess literally the only reason those are there are for some background text or background, you know, flavor text, like I was saying. Anyway, let me go ahead and get to where we need to be, like I said before.
And here's our third and final die that we're gonna have to hit. And if we examine it, of course, Roxas and Shuen will give us the same exact dialogue pretty much. So I didn't even bother reading it, but if we hit it, it will allow this staircase to rise up, it, rise up and give us access to that gate up there. And that gate is the part that we have been fighting to get to pretty much throughout the entire mission. And of course, I'm not really gonna bother reading this dialogue because they're pretty much reiterating what I just said. Anyway, we get a new breakthrough here, of course. Like I said before, that is not really that big of a deal. We would have gotten that regardless, no matter like what we did throughout the mission because you have to get that to defeat the mission in the first place. But this gate up here is, of course, like I said, where we need to go. Of course, I forgot that we need to unlock the gate first by hitting that switch right there. I think this is timed. I'm gonna be quiet here and maybe... Yeah, I thought maybe there would be like a clock ticking sound. You know how like sometimes in some games, they, if they don't have a timer on the screen necessarily, and they might have the ticking of the clock sound to let you know it's timed. I don't hear or see anything, so I'm not even sure if this is timed or not. But here we get the Unity Badge, and we... Okay, I get... You know what? I thought we were in there. I was just about to introduce who the next, like, boss was gonna be. But then the gate closed, like, right in front of me. How close must I have been to the loading zone for that to happen? That is just crazy. Anyway, we got the Unity Badge. I don't think there's an ordeal badge in this mission. If there is, I actually don't know where it is. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that there is no ordeal badge. And you know, that's one thing. I'm not sure why some missions have ordeal badges and unity badges and all that. And some don't. And some of them just kind of seem to have whatever they want. Like, you would think maybe if it had an ordeal badge, that it would also have a unity badge and vice versa. But I've already wasted quite a bit of time here. I don't think from last time, I don't think the timer is that strict. And if I could get off the load... You know what? I got stuck on what must be like an invisible pixel over there on the left. And then I just... Oh my god. You know what? Okay. I'm, am I going to have to like speed this up until I get into the door? I didn't think this was going to be the hard part of the mission considering there is a kind of a cheap boss coming up. I really didn't think this was going to be that big of a deal. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get it this time. What I'll do is make sure that I jump high enough to grab these stairs this time so I don't dilly-dally around jumping around and not being, like, advancing up the stairs. And also, I must have to be, like, directly in the center of the door. Okay, I was getting a little bit worried that there was something I hadn't done in the mission, and that's why it wasn't letting me go in the door. That was really weird. I've never had that happen before. Anyway, here is our final treasure chest that we have to collect. Of course, we need to use a potion or something so we can open up a backpack space so we can collect that and examine this monkey statue. What's the statue? It's holding a jewel or something. I think that's about all we're gonna find down here. Yeah, I don't see any more doors or switches. We must be at the end of the cave. So what's the verdict? Well, we searched the cave top to bottom. Let's call it a day in RTC. Sounds good to me. Hey, who are you, bozos? Uh-oh, I know you. Hmm, here for the magic lamp, are ya? What magic lamp? Don't try and play dumb with me! You listen up and listen good. That lamp is official property of Pete. That's me, you got it. So you goons can keep your dirty mitts off. Now here we're going to fight Pete. I love Pete. I don't know why. I really like his music and, and Kingdom Hearts 2 especially. He had those like exclamations he would do whenever he got hit or whenever he was attacking. But I like to stay back pretty much like every other boss and fire in magic and he's not even gonna worry about me i guess he's just gonna kind of look at shion even though i got like hit his collateral damage there i don't know what that was yeah shion and i are both using magic now that was kind of cool actually we had like a synchronized fire spell used right there anyway he uses a lot of the same tactics he did in kingdom hearts 2 like that rolling ball thing i think i just said he was kind of cheap he's really not bad maybe i was referring to his kingdom hearts 2 iteration i don't know but not too bad overall Rah, you puny little punks! First, I can't find the dag blasted lamp. Now I gotta deal with these weirdos. It just ain't fair.
Zoinks, this can't be good. I'm out of here. H hey, wait. Come on, Roxas, we can't stay here. Yeah, you're right. Hurry. Woo, we made it. Just barely. So, I take it that was the guy. The one me and Axel saw? Yeah, Pete, I think he said. Yeah, he kept going on about some magic lamp. Wonder what he meant. Ah, Rox is behind you. Huh? Back. What? What am I looking at? You okay? Yeah, it doesn't seem hostile. I think it likes you. Figure that one out. Yeah, figure that one out. Ah! Who are you? Who am I? You want to know who I am? Y yes Well, all right then. One personal introduction coming right up. The name's Genie, formerly of the lab. But call me by my first name, kids. And this is my good friend, the Magic Carpet. Nice to meet you. Uh yeah, likewise. Hey, come on now, you can do better than that. I mean, why so glum? Feeling a little blue? Believe me, I can relate. No doubt. So, uh, who are you kids? Uh, we're... Psst, Roxas, change the subject! We're, um, change it to what? Me, I was just swinging my agarbot to check in. When all of a sudden, Carpet here decides to put the tassel to the metal and take off, says he spotted a friend. A friend? And that friend is me? I know, crazy, isn't it? I tagged along already to reminisce about old times. But I have no idea in the cosmos who you are. You sure this is a friend of ours, Rugman? Anyway, uh, Agrabah is that city over there, right? That's the one. My buddy Al's hometown. Why, when we first met, Al and I were inseparable. Inseparable? Yep. Until Carpenter and I took off on a well-deserved vacation, what you might call a mini-world tour. But we got to worrying about how Al was doing. So we figured we'd pop back in to check up on him. Why were you worried? Is there something to worry about? Well, sure. It's only natural to worry about your friends. I worried about how things were going with Jasmine, how the city was holding up. And once I get something on my mind, I can't knock it out. Tried everything. Dynamite, sledgehammers, tweezers. Well, I don't know anybody named Al, but... The city's in rough shape. They've been fixing it up. Right, they kept getting hit by sandstorms. What? Why do these things always happen the minute I leave town? Alright, stand back. A little magic and I'll have this place whipped back into shape. Your friend Al said this isn't a job for magic. He what? He said that people living there should be the ones to fix it up. Oh, well, if that's Al's final word, I guess that's that. You're not gonna help out? Al said no magic, right? 
I'd love to just fix the place, but even a genie's gotta respect his friend's wishes. Hmm, I guess so. We should get back, Roxas. Yeah. Still, I doubt he'd mind a teeny weeny speck of help. There we go! Now the city's safe! And with that out of the way, enough stalling! Who are you two? Okay, forget who, where are you two? So, best friends are different from plain friends, right? They're about the same. Best friends, huh? But I'd say, best friends are a notch above just plain friends. So how are they different? I don't know. I couldn't tell you because I don't have any best friends. I see. Now, of course, I just watched the DS version of that cutscene, but I'm pretty sure there's a PS3 version of the cutscene, but either way, the you can see how Rox, or actually, I should say, is not exactly willing to call Roxas his best friend, even or maybe he it really is not his best friend, because maybe nobody's can't have best friends. I'm not even really entirely sure. But after that mission right there, or at the end of the mission, we got an air slide, which I really want to go ahead and equip, because air slide is one of my favorite combat sort of abilities. It's not really a combat ability per se, but it does allow you to do combat more efficiently, I guess, because you can dodge around a lot more quickly, and I'm not sure if it's actually faster than, like, dodge rolling over and over, like, because you can air slide over and over, but you have to, like, touch the ground every time in between. So, I'm not sure which one's faster. I'll probably just do a mixture of both, or maybe I'll just continue to roll. Not entirely sure. But I do know later on we're gonna get the air slide, like, plus ability, pretty much. And we're gonna do, like, we're gonna be able to do, like, two air slides at once. Which, by the way, will allow us to go back and get some of those treasure chests that we were unable to get before. And, of course, here's that treasure chest that I always talk about. But in the meantime, right now, I think since this is one of those Shadow Glob missions, I'm going to go ahead and speed this mission up. So, I will... See you guys at the end of this mission. Alright, so now we all know that Shadow Glob missions are not the most exciting missions, so that's why I went ahead and pretty much sped up the entire thing. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but pretty much what I like to do when I speed up stuff, if I collect a badge of any kind, or if I open a treasure chest, or in that case, what I'm pretty sure I'm going to do is when I destroy a Shadow Glob, I like to stop the speed up just in case you want to see it in a little bit more detail, like maybe where the treasure chest is, or where the badge is, or where the Shadow Glob is, or how I do it, you know, that kind of stuff. But anyway, speaking of all that, in this mission, we have to collect as many organization emblems as we can. The only problem is... I don't know how I didn't collect that, but anyway. The only problem is, I don't think we have the abilities required to get our bonus gauge filled up all the way, or to get the mission gauge filled up all the way, because we don't have, like, Glide. I think we only need Glide. We might need a high jump, I don't really remember, but regardless, we can't complete this mission right now. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is get as many emblems as we need to fill up the bar, get all of the badges, and get all the treasure chests, and I'll meet you guys at the Dark Corridor.
And there's yet another fetch questy time mission done. Unfortunately, we're actually going to have to come back for that one. And we didn't really get anything of use here. We got an aerial tech, which we might use, and some synthesis later on, but nothing too special. Now, I think what I want to go ahead and do is do one more mission right now before the end of this episode. And I think what I might as well do is go ahead and do that new mission that Saix gave us, or kind of actually gave it to us. I don't even know how to really say it, but... You know, because we filled up the bonus gauges or whatever, and Axel made this new mission available to us. We might as well go ahead and do it now. The reason I want to do this one right now and not the other one is because... I'm not sure if we're going to get any dialogue here, so maybe I'll get to that in just a second. And no dialogue. I thought there was going to be a cutscene there, the way the camera was kind of, like, focused. But anyway, the reason I want to do this one right now instead of the other one is because after we do the other one... We will have the option to advance the date past the date it is right now, if that even makes any sense. Like, basically what happens is after you do the not optional missions, after you do the mandatory missions, you are able to go and advance the day. I like to do all the optional missions before I get to the mandatory missions, so I'm going to wait and do the final mandatory mission in the set in the next episode. But anyway, as for this mission, all we're really doing here is fighting Heartless and collecting hearts. So, because this is yet another fetch questy type mission, I will beat you guys at the end of this mission. She doesn't seem to have made any difference. The Master's temper is as bad as ever. Someone's coming. Hide. If only he would make an attempt to be suave or genteel, surely then he'd see. Is that a... Yep, a walking clock. He mentioned a master. You think he's a servant here in the castle? Maybe. Well, what are we gonna do? The way he's pacing around... Yeah, we'll have to keep out of sight while we take out Heartless. And there's our, like, trifecta of fetch questy type missions out of the way. And we got a double bonus here, so that's pretty good. I guess we got our bonus gauge kind of filled up. I actually wasn't even paying attention to that. Anyway, the next mission is going to be in Beast Castle as well. Fortunately, it is going to be a lot less fetch quest, and I actually really like the next mission. Unfortunately, we're going to be saving that for the next episode. So, I'm going to go ahead and park over here right beside Shion. And I want to thank you guys for watching this episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 358 Days Over 2, and I hope to see you guys back for the next episode.